。现在啊，我们有请国务院台湾事务办公室主任张志军先生向大家介绍。我们将请台湾的首席秘书长张志军来为我们介绍。两岸领导人会面的情况。各位媒体朋友们，各位媒体朋友们，各位媒体朋友们，各位媒体朋友们，各位媒体朋友但是我更想说的是，对两岸同胞来说，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这一天，这From Taiwan, this is actually the first meeting ever between national um, between leaders from the both sides, and leaders on both sides have talked about Chinese rejuvenation, peaceful development, and they exchanged their ideas in in depth. They also reviewed the historic movements and also the changes in terms of the relations across the Taiwan Straits over the past 66 years. And they've also highly recognized the achievements in terms of the improvement of the cross-strait relations. They've also elaborated on the policies and measures to further enhance the relations across Taiwan Straits. They've also reached a positive consensus. Both of the sides hold that today's meeting is critical to a long-term development across the Taiwan Straits. At the beginning of the meeting, President Xi Jinping said that the meeting actually is a page turnover and the history will definitely remember today. Many years ago, there has been a cloud between the Taiwan Straits with the military confrontations, and the, the Chinese people were actually cut off in terms of the communication. And this has actually caused a lot of hurts and emotional injuries to the people living on both sides. And ever since 2008, the cross-strait relations has been kicked off on a new and peaceful development, and we've actually made a lot of variations in terms of the cross-strait relations. According to President Xi Jinping, over the past 66 years, we have actually gone through a lot of May city Jews and hers, but nothing can actually separate us again, even though our boat bones can be broken, we are still connected by the tendons, and uh, the blood is always thicker than the water. Again, currently, the cross-strait relations is now focusing on the direction and the path. The reason why we sit here today is to avoid repeating the tragedy in the history. We are here to consolidate the time in people on both sides. We are here to promote a good people's livelihood across the streets and share the variations with our offspring and the future generations. According to President Xi Jinping, we need to, to show to the world that we have the wisdom and the capacity and the power to handle the cross strait relations and we will also contribute together to the regional peace and the world's peace. It is our wish that we can work together, hand in hand, to honor the 1992 consensus and consolidate the political foundations, and we will stick to a peaceful development, and we will also stick to the right direction. In addition, we will be committed to enhancing the relationship so that we can work together to work for the Chinese rejuvenation which will benefit people on both sides. During the meeting, Mr. Xi Jinping also asked Ma Yingzhou to comment. And after listening to Ma Yingzhou, President Xi Jinping said that now we are actually at a new point. 
from where we shall honor the common wish and we shall also follow the trend of the times. Uh, we shall train the peaceful development across the streets and work for the Chinese rejuvenation. nation. And on that note, President Xi Jinping came up with four points. The first one is to stick to the political foundations of the uh, across trade relations. Over the past few years, it is our willingness to stick to the 1992 consensus and the, our opposition against the Taiwan, the independence that made the peaceful development across the streets possible. Without that, the whole relation across the streets could have collapsed. The 1992 consensus is very important in that it clarifies the fundamental nature of the cross trade relations. According to Xi Jinping, uh, Taiwan and the mainland China are actually belong, belonging to one Chinese nation, and it is not a relation between two countries. It should be always deemed as a one a sovereignty. Oh, uh, and again, uh, mainland China and Taiwan belong to one nation and one country. This one will never be changed. This is the fundamental <laughs> principle that we should honor. And according to Xi Jinping, it, it is our wish that Taiwan will honor the 1992 consensus no matter what we have done in the, in the past. As long as the 1992 consensus and the core cool ideas can be honored, we will be more than willing to communicate with the counterparts. And as to the separationist, we shall never accept or be tolerant. And as to the peaceful development and the, the cross trade relations, we hold the same attitude as always when it comes to the development of the cross trade relations. President Xi Jinping said that there has been a historical changes and uh, now we are actually in the best time ever since 2049. We need peace, we need exchange, we need discussion and uh, cooperation instead of uh, animosity, confrontation or conflicts. The cross trade relations are no longer in the period where confrontations and the sharp conflicts were observed in the past. The cross trade relation tells us that there has been turbulence and conflicts which damage the benefits of people on both sides. It is our wish to focus on the peaceful development and create a win-win situation, and this will actually benefit the generations to come. Friends and Chinese people on both sides shall look at the fluorescence and uh, remove the confrontations. We shall stick to the de peaceful development and try our best to create a win-win situation and a peaceful framework. When it comes to setting up the hotline between the Taiwan Straits, President Xi Jinping said that it is our wish to enhance the mutual understanding and the political willingness so that active and positive efforts will be made to solve the cross trade issues. In addition, conflicts and the disputes shall be controlled properly. The hotline can be conducive to avoiding further misunderstanding and it will also be useful for handling the issues so we can start with the contact points on both sides. When it comes to the develop peaceful development and the different social systems, President Xi Jinping says that both parties, both sides shall honor uh, uh, each respective choices so that we can avoid hurting people on both sides and uh, generating unnecessary loss. According to President Xi Jinping, we understand the willingness of the um, Taiwan, Taiwanese to participate in the international affairs as long as it doesn't damage the one China policy, we can actually arrange through friendly consultation according to President Xi Jinping. 
The most serious constraints is the separation plot uh, on the Taiwan side. It will, it, it will damage the sovereignty and it will also damage the territorial integration. The integration. This will actually <coughs> damage the interests of the Taiwan people. Therefore, we have to firmly oppose such movement. And again, uh, people on both sides belong to one family. And as long as the family is well, then everything will prosper. So our aim is to create a better life for people on both sides. Any undertaking that can benefit the people on both sides and anything that can benefit the overall interest of the Chinese nation, we shall try our best to push the such undertakings forward. And we will try our best to properly handle all these matters and undertakings. And it is our wish to share the opportunities with people on Taiwan side. And we can draw our respective strengths to expand economic cooperation and enlarge the um, take of benefits so that we can uh, enhance the coverage of interests for people on both sides. As to the Affairs Office and also the Economic Corporation, Mr. Xi says that we also would like to push forward such dialogue and we also welcome Taiwan to attend the, to participate in the Asia Investment Infrastructure Bank. Efforts to the education shall be pushed forward so that we can launch exchanges in terms of education and the national honor. When it comes to the people-to-people -people exchange and youth development, President Xi Jinping says that even until the day, a lot of Taiwanese have not yet visited the mainland China, and we would welcome them to visit here and participate in the trend of exchanges across the streets. It is our wish to create opportunities for education, job employment, exchange, and a living for the young generations, so that the young generations on both sides can become the major force to realize our dream of Chinese rejuvenation. When it comes to the Chinese rejuvenation, President Xi says that Chinese nation boasts a history of 5,000 years, but in recent years we have been violated by the foreign nations, and 120 years ago Taiwan was also once violated by the foreign nation in 1949. Yes. The Taiwan finally got independence, and the shame was therefore removed. Again, the well-being of the nation is to the interests of people on both sides, and the weakness of the nation will actually damage the interests of people on both sides. Currently, we are closer than ever to realize the dream of Chinese rejuvenation, and we firmly believe that we hold, uh, we definitely believe that Taiwan definitely has a part to play to realize the Chinese rejuvenation. When it comes to the celebration of the anti-Japanese war, President Xi Jinping says that we actually made a lot of efforts. Therefore, we need to encourage the scholars on both sides to collaborate on the historical materials so that we can work together better to safeguard the honor and the dignity of people on both sides. We need to remember the history and we should also review the past and work together to the peaceful development across the streets. In the closed-door meeting between the leaders on both sides, 
Both sides reached a consensus on uh, pushing forward the peaceful development and a positive, among all positive consensus. Uh, both leaders recognized the fruition that we made ever since 2008. Both leaders deem that we need to honor the 1992 consensus and consolidate the political foundation, and we shall also make joint efforts to promote peaceful development and stability across the Taiwan streets through exchanges, dialogue, consultation, and cooperation, and a win-win win mechanism. This will actually benefit people on both sides. People on both sides belong to one Chinese nation, and we are both uh, offsprings of the Yan and Huang, the creator of the Chinese nation. Therefore, it is our wish to work together, and I deem that the above-mentioned consensus will be very important to enhance the cross-strait relations. Now we would like to open the Q&A session. Now we would like to give the floor to Mr. Chen Jinghua from the Xinhua News Agency. Can you ask this question again? Thank you for introducing us. Um, what's happened in the meeting? Can you brief us? What will this meeting do to the current development? What is the significance? Now, this meeting of the two leaders across the strait since 2049 is the first meeting since that year. Now, people across the strait and the world are watching this. And I've also seen a lot of comments commentaries. Now, for this meeting, I think uh, in terms of its significance, there are six points. Now, this is the first meeting of the two leaders since 1949. Now, this has turned a page in the history of the cross-strait relationship. This has created a lot of room, new room, and it's a milestone. Number two, in 66 years of development across the strait relationship, when you look back, especially uh, since 2008, there are a lot of fruits um, since 2008, and this actually affirms that fruition. This signifies that, that the peace and Stability development path is correct, and we should stick to that. Third, this meeting testifies the 1992 consensus of one China principle. This fairly further confirms that, and it's of great significance for the further development of the cross trade relationship. Fourth, the level of cross trade relationship has been enhanced. This is conducive for the exchanges and dialogue across the street, deepen our cooperation to achieve and win cooperation, and for the well-being of people across the street. Fifth, this meeting shows the world that the Chinese people, Chinese people across the street have the wisdom to resolve our own issues independently. Sixth, this meeting is conducive to ignite uh, the willingness for us to work together hand in hand to rejuvenate the Chinese nation. Thank you. Friends, media friends from Hong Kong.
Thank you, Director Zhang. Now, identity issue is an issue that has been troubling uh, the two leaders. Now, is this meeting um, uh, to set to resolve this issue? And we know that to realize the meeting of the two leaders across the strait is um, our is our plan and we have shown that attitude in different occasions as early as 20 years ago uh, we have put forward this notion uh, since 2008 uh, on the 1992 consensus and anti-independence uh, common ground we have reached a lot of fruitful results now these results have created good conditions for the two leaders to meet and at the same time people across the strait still have political issues therefore the two sides across the strait through dialogue that we have decided uh, to hold this meeting in the capacity of uh, two leaders from the two sides. This is something a prior, this is something uh, a pragmatic measure before the political issues are totally solved. Last question. We leave this question to media friends from Taiwan. Uh, Mr. Liu from Taiwan. Taiwan, Taiwan Media. Taiwan Media. From one times. My question is, today is only 70 days to the election in Taiwan. Now, what is the meaning of the two leaders across the strait this time? Uh, will there be future uh, such meetings in the future? Now, first, um, in terms of elections in Taiwan, um, the spokesperson from the uh, Taiwan Affairs Office in of the State Council that we, we, what we care about is that we push forward uh, that direct uh, direction, that right direction of the cross strait relationship. What we care more is that the cross strait relationship in the past 66 years, what has done what has what is it doing to inspire people what we look forward is the future of the cross strait relationship just as Xi Jinping said in the two leaders meeting as long as it is conducive to the kinsmanship and of the cross strait and peace and stability across the strait as long as it is conducive to the Chinese nation, the two sides should work to together hard in that end. This should be for press conference.